Come on, Daddy, fit it in. Hey guys, it's Drew here. Welcome back to Lone Fox YouTube channel. Um, I'm so excited for today's transformation or room transformation because I actually flew all the way to Portland to see my friend Calvin that just moved into his brand new room. And I don't want to show much of his room right now because we completely transformed the whole thing and it looks amazing. I'm filming this like at the end. What you guys are seeing, DIY 50 cent headboard. Like there's a lot of really cool content in this video. I think you're going to love it. But I also want to make a really amazing announcement right now. And that is that I started a Instagram account for Lone Fox. So it's Lone Fox Home. I'll put it on the screen for you guys to take a look at. I just started it and I'm basically going to use this Instagram account just to showcase like home decor and DIY photos and also give you updates on when new videos are coming out, be able to run like polls on videos and all that sort of stuff. Today's room transformation is also a bit different for me because it's going to be on a budget, which is super fun. We have a $300 budget, which I do know is a little bit more than like a very low budget. $300 is quite a bit of money, but I did want to make sure that Calvin's room was like really good, but you're going to meet him in just a couple seconds on camera from when I first started filming two days ago. So let's get into that footage and start the transformation. Urban Outfitters, which I know definitely isn't a budget saving store because everything's like pretty expensive home decor wise, but if there's like a couple elements that you can like pick up, you know, we're just kind of looking for decorations. It has the basis of everything already there, so I think that we should get a rug for Calvin's room, even though it's small. I think that it will really like ground everything in there, and I think a light color rug would be better than darker because just to brighten it up a bit more because there's only one window in there. Oh, I don't want to hear. Oh, sorry. <laughs> So we saved a good and fresh 1380 because I made Calvin put his email in there. Yeah. Luckily you've never used it before, so give us 10% <laughs> off. So so far spent 97.20. Rug? Yeah, it's own little baby. Wake flow. <laughs> Just got out of Goodwill. We got a couple of items. The total was 23.97. We got a pillow too. This little pillow, and the girl's funny because it has like some plant names on it. She's like, you know, this pillow is just a really great one. It's an educational one, which I think a lot of pillows <laughs> lack these days. And I was like, yeah, true. So far, we're like 124 dollars into it. Guys, we just found these pallets, and like, they're by the trash. They are by the trash. Isn't it? Yeah, that's by the trash. I'm putting this in your Calvin's car right now. This is a great find for me. I hope that this fits. I think it will. I, what if it doesn't? Oh, it's not gonna fit. Oh my, oh my gosh, I made it, I made it. She is thick, like she's, she, oh, no, she's gonna go in there. She has to make it. Come on, daddy, fit it's it in. Not. It's really? Not. No, no, you're lying. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it'll oh, fit. Yeah, it'll fit. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, she's literally in there. Got it in. Got it in. That's what she said. Day two now, and we are finishing. Well, it's day three, but day two of like the stuff we're doing for your room. Because wow. the first day we did, I filmed like a thrifting video on my other channel. But uh, it's day two of Calvin's room remodel decoration. And we, I went to Target last night, but I forgot to bring my vlog camera. So I just want to share with you guys like what I got at Target. So this is kind of going to be one of the main focal points, I guess, of the room. It's this neon sign of a rainbow because Calvin's a homosexual. So that's why we got that one. <laughs> but no, I think it's actually going to look so good. And the price of this one was actually only $29 as opposed to the Urban Outfitters ones we were originally looking at that were 80 But I was like, this is like such a cool focal point to any room. So that's why we got this one. And then I also got this Opal House um, curtain, and it's just like a white kind of like crepey fabric curtain. And then also I got a curtain rod back there. Got this letter H, and then just some other random things like some string for this DIY, and then a paint and a paintbrush. This pillow we also got as well, the grid one um, from Target. That's in the eighty-one dollars. But now we're going to try to find a nightstand right now and pick up a couple last-minute pieces, and then we're gonna go decorate it all. But the total spent at Target was eighty-one dollars and thirty-one cents. We successfully found a nightstand. It's like metal too, $15. We also got this basket uh, for $10. So $25 more dollars has been spent. Something else super amazing that I don't didn't really mention is that in Portland there's no tax. So oh, yeah. that saves us a little bit as well because if you spend $300, tax on that's $30. More bang for your buck. The car's nice and packed, but um, we'll be unloading it in just a couple minutes. Thank you. 
Okay, so we're finally back in Calvin's room, and I haven't showed you guys a before of what it looks like yet, so I'm just gonna share with you like a before, and then we're gonna start doing the actual transformation part. It only took us literally two full days to shop for things. We went so many places, got everything. The total was this much, and yeah, so let's just do, I guess, the before first. Okay, so here's Calvin's room. When you walk in, it looks like this. And then over here, there's a window. And then this little section over here. He has a lot of plants, actually, which is quite nice because we didn't even have to get those. Closet is here. And then over here, it's just like this little section of random stuff. I don't actually know what I'm going to start with first, but let's just get into it. So here's a photo of Calvin looking like a <laughs> full-on meal. Not even a snack, like a five-course dinner. But do you see this? He did this DIY behind his head, which we're going to implement here with some tape. And where's that tape at? Ten rolls of this electrical tape at Home Depot was only $5. So we're going to use that to recreate this behind the bed and Calvin's gonna work on that. We're actually on a big race against time because it's currently about 4 p.m. The sun's setting at 8 p.m. So we have about four hours to finish it and film the final clips. <laughs> So I knew I wanted to create some form of DIY headboard just to make it super affordable and Calvin had this option on his phone. I thought it was such a genius idea. So we used a one roll of electrical tape, which legit cost 50 cents from Home Depot to map out the cityscape background and it's totally freehand. And the great thing about this is that you can actually adjust it to the height and width of your bed. So it's completely customizable. <laughs> So now I'm doing Calvin's bed, and he just got this comforter right before I got here, actually from Target. So I wasn't even in my budget. I'm just gonna put this on, and it's really cool because it's black, which I think is gonna contrast nicely with this white rug that we also got. Just laid down the rug and it looks so good. This is the most perfect size. And instead of doing it very straight on, I actually decided to sort of like make it a bit crooked. So I think it looks really, really nice from the outside too because it kind of gives like a bit of asymmetry as opposed to having everything very like linear, you know? Okay, so we put the palette here in the corner. This is where it's going. But we actually are gonna push it all the way against the wall and then put the bookshelf on top of it. So we have to move all the plants off, all the books off, and then put this over there and then push it in all the way so it's gonna be like flush to the bed, kinda. Because Calvin doesn't even go in this corner because all of his plants are there anyways. <laughs> so now there's a bed for them all to sleep on. By the way, guys, we actually did hose off the palette overnight and then we left it outside um, and just let it like dry. And so it is cleaner than what we picked it up as. <laughs> Oh, Calvin, this is only one panel. <laughs> okay, change of plans. There are going to be no curtains going up anymore because the freaking window is longer than 48 inches and I thought it was definitely under 48 inches. And also, pro tip, if you're shopping at Target, they sell these panels by one, so you get one panel. But um, I don't know really know what we're going to do with this. It actually kind of looks nice over here, so who knows? Probably nothing, but yeah. <laughs> If this 
room's already headed in this super, super Tumblr direction, we might as well just play it up a bit more with some lights. So we added a couple strands of Christmas lights that Calvin already had, but I actually really love the way that they looked. So we just hung them on the ceiling and on the wall using a couple thumbtacks right above the crate area, just to sort of give that whole corner a very grounded look. And it sort of kind of hid the fact that we didn't add curtains. transformation and I hope that you really enjoyed that process. How was it Calvin? It was stressful. It really was because we were on a race against time like we really only had like three hours in the sun setting right now so I'm so glad we had a little bit of light just to film the outro clip. For this part's the best part. That's like I need that in my room I think. Are you a little camera shy? A little. It's really good to be honest. I like really it appreciate it. It looks the best it. so ever. Cute. Wow. And it's a little tumblery. It's that's more than a little tumbler. It's so tumbler. So make sure to also follow the Lone Fox Home Instagram account. It's completely brand new and I hope you guys are really going to love that account. I'm going to be posting photos from this room transformation and of course like other photos that I'm taking um, around town. Just like that kind of fun stuff like home decor and DIY related things. So definitely follow along there. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.